So where are we, Tom? We're at the old block me old oh clock me oh clock me river state park in florida thanks for tuning in to see the next part of our long rv trip to florida this show we check out olockney river state park stop in at the sop choppy grocery and return to olockney bay for a little more fishing pine forest swamp and they have white squirrels, which we've already seen one. White squirrels, piebald deer. Bear. Bear. Big flamingo. People from all over. Okay. I helped Amanda set up all the uh, solar lights except for the rope light, but she's hesitating. She I know where I'm going to put them I, already. I've just yeah. left that responsibility to her and she has hesitated. Okay. And there it sits, the rope light. I have to get the... The new Harbor Freight rope light. There it is. Stop making fun of me. I'm trying to fix my picture. Camp's all set up, and it's off to get some provisions. Well, here we are at the So Choppy Grocery. Picking up a few things. Can't get beer, though. Make sure I have everything. Oh, I was going to get bagels. Because I'm got i getting cream cheese, but they don't have any. They don't have any? I don't see any. Well, I'll ask. Maybe they got them in the frozen. So how do we pronounce so choppy? Sop choppy? Sop choppy. Not so choppy. There's a P in there, by golly. Sop choppy. Where'd you get that name? They say it's an Indian name for dark water because the palmettos turn the water dark. It is dark. Very dark. Kind of coffee color. Mm -hmm. When it floods, if you have chain link fence or anything that they say won't rust, it'll rust when it gets dark. <laughs> yeah. 38.55. Or it'll look like it rusts because it'll be brown. Yes, ma'am. Resupplied and camp set up, time to take a tour of the state park. We're taking the scenic drive in O'Clockney State Park. Stop and see the things and hopefully see some wildlife. We've got some piebald deer that you don't see those every day. So maybe we'll look at this. I'm going to look at this little interpretive sign here and see what's going on. Be bear aware. Saw palmetto. And a nature trail. A sh shower for the swimming area. <laughs> Clockney River State Park connects you to miles and miles of waterways. By water, it is about three miles from O'Clockney Bay. Our stay here was only two nights, so we didn't get a chance to take the canoe through this labyrinth of water. But it would be a cool thing to do. I would make sure to take a handheld GPS to make sure you find your way back home because this river system twists and turns all through this delta. Another 
alligator warning sign, but we really want to see an alligator. Wonder what time they feed the alligator. No alligators today. Camping at Alachne River State Park was nice. The facilities were well maintained. There are lots of trails and water to explore. The campsites are a little close together, but that is pretty typical for public campgrounds. I wanted to go back to Crumbs in Panacea and check out their fishing recommendations, so we made the drive back to Olachne Bay. Well, we got a tip. We're in the right place. Just motor on up this shore and we'll be all right. Just might get into some. Got gulp, gulp shrimp. We got it. The right hooks for some crabs. Might get us some more crabs. Got the boat to get us there. That's enough to start with.
We started off good and I landed a speckled trout on a topwater lure, but of course I didn't have the camera running then. Now it's your turn to get one. Island up here. That looks like a spot to me. I was searching for the large waterway that drains Tucker Lake, just west of Bald Point State Park. Instead, we only went as far as the little inlet west of there. It was a really cool environment with a winding trail of water that snaked through the grass flats. The kind of place that few people ever get to experience. Unfortunately, not even a nibble was to be had on our lines. We tried a little more under the bridge where we caught some sail cat the day before, but no luck there either. Limited time and too much to see. I would love to give it another try someday. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe to Mo Sportsman Travels. Next show, we're off a little to the west to St. George Island, where we luck out on getting a great campsite, do a little fishing, and enjoy the island life for the rest of our stay. <laughs>